Hi, I'm Mike with the School of Self-Reliance, and today I've got some unique products for you. You know that this is not a gear review channel, but every once in a while I do review some gear or I recommend some gear to people. Usually it has to be from one, a company that I really, really like and think a lot of, and two, the gear has to be really something that I think is great. You know, or it has to fit a concept like budget or, or something like that, or, you know, purpose. And this one, for preppers, backpackers, hikers, whatever, I think this is a great product. It's called the Sunjack, and it's a solar panel. And it's not your typical solar product. It's made by a company called Gigawatt Inc. They're a California-based company, and I've been testing this product along with a light that comes with it for several months. And I gotta tell you, I love this product. All right, this is the Sunjack solar panel deployed. And the company has included two carabiners. And I really think it needs a third. Uh, if you're gonna hang it off of your backpack, it's semi-secure, see? So a third one over here would be great. So if you do get this product, by a third carabiner. Now, this particular product is sold for about $150 on their website. And it differs in a lot of ways from other solar products that are out there. One of the ways that it differs is it comes with an 8,000 milliamp battery. And you can charge this battery directly off of the solar panel just by plugging it in and deploying the solar panel. This battery has two output slots, one here, one here. And the first one is for a slow charge, and this one is for a fast charge. So pretty good idea. They've thought this product through pretty well. But the fact that you have this can be charging another device directly off of the solar panel, you can charge another device off of this, and you've always got stored power. So whenever you're, you deploy this solar panel, whether you're charging anything or not, you charge up this battery and you always have stored power. And if you've watched some of my other videos, you know about my concept of, you know, uh, end of the world kind of prepper circumstance that cell phones and other large, uh, you know, tablets, things like that, that they're still useful. Even though you don't have the internet, you know, you can be downloading topographical maps and things like that, storing them on these old devices. Uh, you can store thousands and thousands of hours, or uh, excuse me, thousands and thousands of maps on an old device and then use something like this to charge it so that you're, so that you're never lost. Because remember, the GPS may not work in that circumstance, at least not the one on your phone. Uh, your regular GPS device probably would. But you can also charge the other product, which is this light, the Sunjack light, or light stick. And this thing, I really like it. It's got several settings. It is waterproof to six feet. And we're going to do some other video of this later. But there's little blue LED lights in here that when it's turned on, it tells you what its power level is, how much it's charged. There's three of them in there. And it has different settings, several different settings, including a strobe. So whether you're prepping or whether you're just using this for camping or an emergency situation, this is a great product. Uh, this light actually runs for an exceptionally long period of time. And with this, you're simply never out of batteries. And it's just a great product. We'll be right back. All right, the company says this battery, in its instructions, it says that it takes five hours to charge this battery. And we haven't found that to be the case. Uh, it's <laughs> When we've used it, it's been much, much quicker. Uh, as a matter of fact, we sat this out with the panel in direct sunlight uh, just the other day, and it actually took a little under three hours to get a full charge in this. 
Um, I was pretty impressed with that. Uh, the battery has actually consistently taken less time than the company has advertised. And you and I both know that most of the time claims made by a company, they're within a window of being right. Uh, and usually, whatever they advertise, it usually takes longer. In this case, I was pleasantly surprised to find it usually takes less. And I've certainly never had it take any more than that. Uh, so I really like that, and they're well within their specs that they advertise. As a matter of fact, uh, they should probably scale it back a little bit because it works better than they think it uh, than they think it does. Okay, now this whole system, the battery, the solar panel, uh, light, and everything, they are compatible with all Apple, uh, Android, GoPro. Window, any any of your your major common uh, devices that are out there, it's completely compatible with them, and they've really thought through uh, the compatibility of this with uh, with everything that's out there. All right, this solar panel, as you can see, I mean, it opens up. You know, it's uh, it's good size, but. folds down, it's very compact, it's easy to stow and carry, and it uh, it weighs a little under two pounds, uh, which is not super heavy compared to what it's actually offering you, uh, and that's with the battery, by the way. Um, so I think that weight-wise, space-wise, the company got this one right. Uh, this is easy to carry, it's easy to use, and easy to deploy, um, and you're not going to break your back carrying it around with you. All right, we're moving on to the light stick. This light stick, 350 lumen. Pretty good, a lot of light. Um, it can give you 40 hours, 40 hours of light. And it is waterproof to six feet. It has its own internal energy storage. Right here. You can charge smartphones or other devices directly off of your light stick. So it's not only a light, but in a pinch, you could recharge your device off of this a couple of times. And it all depends on the model. Uh, you know, the company says it will do three smartphones. It depends on the model. It depends on the model. Um, but again, this, this is just a great little device. If you drop it, at night and it is not turned on, this glows so that you can find it at night. If that becomes a concern to you, you could always put a piece of tape over it if it's a prepper type thing uh, where you're worried about glow in the dark objects, but if you're not, if you're hiking, adventure backpacking, eco trekking, whatever, uh, you know, fishing, uh, they've really thought this product through. They really have. and. If you hang this up, if you're in a tent or a hammock, you hang it up, the light always points down. So like I was saying, if you hang it up by carabiners or whatever method, when you hang it up, the light always points down. So that's a, that's a well thought through feature. You know, no matter how you hang this, the light points down, unless you just do it by one and then of course it points out to the side. But they've thought that through. and. Uh, that's something that I like about the product is I haven't found anything on it that isn't well thought through except that third carabiner. The third carabiner sure would have been nice on that product and quite frankly I think that a couple of carabiners on this would have been nice too. Um, but that's not a deal breaker for me, not in any way. I mean, carabiners are cheap, especially, you know, if you're just getting the gas station ones, because let's face it, you're not repelling with them, you're just hanging a light or a solar panel. So that's in no way a deal breaker to me. All right, this light stick costs $45 retail. That's what it's available for. Again, the solar panel, about $150. So a couple of hundred bucks for this system. Um, but 
you know, there's a lot of other systems out there that cost nearly or nearly that much or more. And quite frankly, they don't do as good a job in my opinion. And I've tested a lot of them. I've used a lot of them. And truthfully, I've given up on most of them. As a matter of fact, all of them, except for this one. Um, now, this light, if you're charging it, it takes about five hours, according to the company, to charge. Again, uh, my experience, that has not been the case. I have, it has not taken five hours to charge. You know, it's taken nearly five hours to charge, but it's never actually taken five hours. That may change with age, but we've been charging and using this off and on for several months. I think it's around four months. And, you know, we've charged it many, many times. We've used the panel, charged the battery many, many times. And its performance has remained constant. And we've even, you know, dropped these a few times, that type of stuff, shook them around, beat them up a little bit, just to make sure that it wasn't too susceptible to that, like if you drop it, and then all of a sudden it doesn't perform right. Uh, we haven't found that to be the case at all. So for, you know, 45 bucks and a hundred and a half, you are getting a lot of capabilities here to bring a mobile power source with you anywhere. Now, we're going to show you some footage of this at night and some other stuff of this charging. And I hope you'll stick with us and watch the rest of the video. Um. One of the things I'd like to point out about wearing this panel is unlike other systems that I've tested, this one, when you're wearing it, other than the panel itself, there's nothing external hanging out, banging into things or getting snagged. Because of the way the company thought this through and the fact that you're charging the battery or whatever you're charging can go inside of here. Then it's all com uh, contained and compact and there's no cords or anything hanging out to snag on anything. So it's practical to wear this on your backpack or use it in that way. All right, another word about this solar panel is that the military is using these, or at least certain sections of the military. Uh, the company's gotten lucky on that. They, they've gotten themselves some sales for the military. But there's another video on YouTube about this for durability. And a guy took a 40 caliber Smith & Wesson and shot this like five or six times. It's still charged. Some of the cell is destroyed, some of its capability is destroyed, but it was still charging and doing a good job after six rounds went through it. It's pretty durable if you ask me. All right, we're back talking about the Sunjack light stick. And this thing has three levels of power. We're on the first one. Oops. First one. Second. Third. It really is a lot brighter. Now it says 40 hours. That it will do 40 hours of light. Well that's on its lowest setting. Now its lowest setting is still pretty good. Uh, but we found about 18 hours or so. 20 uh, on its, its max setting. Which is still pretty good. That's a lot better than a lot of LED and light products do. Uh, this one again, uh, you know, like I told you in the other part of the video, it does have uh, the green. So if you drop it at night, we're back to the lowest setting. Again, we're going to run through it. And here's its final setting, which is a strobe. It does have the blue LEDs. To show you that it's charged, those go off automatically, just like that. Now, if you're broke down on the side of the road, what a great thing to have with you. And it is waterproof up to six feet. We mentioned that before in the earlier part of the video. But this thing is actually pretty bright. It does a great job. If you're going to stow it in your backpack along with the solar panel, or if you're going to keep it in your car, or you're going to use it for uh, prepping, survival, roadside emergency, or whether you're going to use it for eco-trekking or whatever, this really is a great product. 
Um, now we experimented with this a little bit uh, in the cold and so on. It does handle the cold remarkably well. Uh, it is very durable and I wouldn't worry about the temperature. Uh, we left it in the snow for hours and it kept right on working just fine. Uh, so it's really not affected by temperature, either hot or cold. Uh, you can use the light again to uh, charge devices. If you've got uh, a small battery charger or rechargeable batteries, uh, you can use this or the solar panel to charge those. So if you need a light source and renewable energy, one of the best products that I have found in years is the Sunjack light stick and the Sunjack solar panel. And just bar none, they are worth your money. Uh, the people over there are nice, easy to get along with, and they make a first-rate product. So again, I'm Mike with the School of Self-Reliance. Thanks for watching.